the Palolo Chinese Home is pleased to honor an exemplary person such as Danny B.T. Lau at this gala celebration of caring for the generations. Danny Lau is a devoted family man, a successful businessman, an extraordinary athlete, and a generous philanthropist. Certainly, Danny Lau is a man on the move. My father, Daniel B.T. Lau, was born in uh, 1919. Uh, he was born here in Honolulu, uh, the oldest of a family of eight. My grandfather, his father, ran a Chinese grocery store in uh, Laliha Street. Um, they, they, the kids grew up in the back of the uh, store. Uh, they worked in the store. For grade school, he st uh, went to first at Lanakila Elementary and then switched over to Mai Mai. And from Mai Mai, he went over to Central Intermediate. Uh, and all this time, he would go to Chinese uh, language classes after school uh, to make sure that he could speak uh, Cantonese. Uh, I think he learned Mandarin on his own afterwards. He then went over to uh, uh, McKinney High School, and I believe he graduated in 1937. Then he went out to the University of Hawaii, and from the University of Hawaii, uh, he majored in business. And University of Hawaii is the first time he got to really fool around. He didn't have to go to, uh, he didn't have to go to Chinese language classes after school. Uh, he didn't have to work in the store at that point because he was now a big college kid. Uh, and he found that all this free time that he had, he got to spend. Uh, playing sports, uh, and he learned the true love of playing baseball. Danny was an outstanding baseball player, at the, uh, an athlete actually, at the University of Hawaii. He became uh, one of the batting champs over at the University of Hawaii. He also uh, had the opportunity to run track, and he was one of the uh, great uh, track stars at the University of Hawaii. Upon graduation in June of uh, 1941, he was immediately drafted or inducted into the United States Army. They sent him to uh, the University of Pittsburgh to go to flight training school. This is where he actually met my mother. The joke that he likes to tell is that uh, he went out and talked to his buddies and he was looking for the uh, prettiest Chinese girl in town and uh, found my mother. Uh, who was the only Chinese girl in town. As they were getting ready for D-Day, they realized that they needed replacement soldiers. And so they took him out of, the, out of flight training school. Danny uh, was wounded in the Battle of the Bulge. He was in a foxhole and his gun was uh, on a parapet that he had put. And a German artillery shell came in, blew his gun up, and, and uh, basically knocked him unconscious for a short while. He and his buddies decided to run into a farmhouse and another uh, German shell came in, blew the building up. The guys that he was with were all killed and he was seriously wounded and he was stuck in the farmhouse under some timbers. He has uh, tremendous shrapnel wounds in his back and his arms and his legs. He received a Purple Heart with uh, oak leaf clusters, which means uh, multiple, multiple wounds. He calls it a million dollar wound and the reason why uh, he calls it a million dollar wound is during the war, uh, if you got wounded seriously enough, uh, you didn't have to go back and uh, you were still alive and you got to go home. After uh, my dad rehabilitated and the army finally released him, he wanted to go back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to go and, and uh, see if my mother was still interested. Back in 1952 when Danny and his friends formed Finance Factors, that was pretty amazing because if you think about it, that was 13 years before the Civil Rights Act. And so there were a lot of ethnic minorities, like the Chinese, who couldn't get access to financing at the time. I mean, they made loans for things like furniture or um, you know, even pots and pans. So they're still reaching out to those people who have difficulty in getting financing because they're willing to take the time to actually um, underwrite each particular loan, listen to that person's uh, particular circumstances, and try to help them figure out how they can afford their dreams. My dad was always, has always been a supporter of the community. Uh, his probably his biggest charity that he's supported is the uh, United Church of Christ over on Judd Street. He and his family helped to donate the front coal wood doors for the uh, sanctuary. The big stained glass 
window behind the altar uh, was one of his donations. He really loves the University of Hawaii, and he set he has set up several scholarships, uh, primarily for the UH baseball team. Colton Wong uh, was one of his uh, was one of his scholarship uh, beneficiaries, uh, and so he's he takes great pride in uh, knowing that he helped uh, Colton uh, get through school. He helped start the Wailai Kahala baseball. Every year, Danny is the leader in the, going to Las Vegas to play in tournaments. And he paid the way of the various players who couldn't pay. I asked him how old he is. He says about over 90. He still plays softball. That's unbelievable. He likes uh, the challenge. He likes the competition. He likes the excitement. He still bats and runs the bases. and. <laughs> Amazing. You know, as a leader of the Chinese community, I work with you with the Chinese Chamber and many different organizations. You have been so generous. Uh, I still remember uh, several years ago when I uh, asked you to make a donation and to be a board of governors of the Filipino Community Center. You didn't blink your eyes. You said, yes, Eddie, I will help. The Finance Factors Foundation uh, donates money to a lot of char charitable organizations. The biggest one is the University of Hawaii. We probably donate more uh, to the University of Hawaii because it really educated many of the original uh, six founders of our company. Danny, as your friend, I am most honored to congratulate you on being the honoree of Palola Chinese Homes Caring for Generations Gala event. Congratulations, Dad, on this tremendous honor. Watching you and your success in business has really inspired all of us to do the same. Thank you, Dad. It's an honor being your friend, Danny. You're well deserving of this award, and we're supporting you, and, and we hope you play to your 105. <laughs> so congratulations, Danny. Congratulations, Dad. We appreciate what you've done for us. We appreciate the education you've provided us. You've, uh, we appreciate all the many things that you've done. Thanks, Dad. You're my role model. I've told you every time when I see you, I hug you and I say, Mr. Lau, you're the man I want to copy. Thank you for your support and congratulations. Doje and Kung Hei.